Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday, EA did something that's got a lot of people upset, and it has to do with these cards right here, because some of them are down 40% or more in value, and that means coins are being lost. So we have to talk about that situation, because unfortunately, it's not going to be the last time that EA make people lose coins out of nowhere this year. It's going to happen again, and also... Where's our Icon Upgrade Pack, SBCEA? They went the hero route yesterday instead of the Icon. We got to talk about that and also why I have like no coins. I've invested almost all of my coins into Team of the Group Stage players. Yes, hoping for a market rise today. We'll talk more about that in today's video and look forward to today's content on Monday throughout the rest of this week. Everything that we should see today to keep you up to speed. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content. First of all, it was kind of a... Busy day, honestly. There was a lot going on. Evolutions, objectives, SBCs. We're going to start with that big SBC. The 86 plus base hero player pick. Guys, a hero player pick, yeah, it's cheap, right? They're always cheap with the icon SBCs, but that's for a good reason. A lot of them are very cheap, and it's not even like you're getting UEFA, UCL heroes out of this. These are just base heroes. Yes, you have the chance of getting Yaya. Yes, you have the chance of getting Ginola or Marquisio or one of those big ticket heroes, Ramirez, right? You could get one of those, and it's cheap. It is easy to craft. 84 and 85s are not that hard to come by, and of course, 84s are like 2,000 coins. So, I mean, the SBC doesn't look that cheap when you look at it this way. But in reality, it's pretty easy to get done. But it's very disliked, and I'm a part of that 92% downvote. I don't think I'm touching this SBC during the whole rest of the week. I'd rather do another upgrade pack that maybe is coming out today or tomorrow or during the week. If we get an 83 times 10 again or an 85 double, I'd rather hit something along those lines than do an 86 plus base hero. That's just my take. And um, yeah, I guess guys, for the icon pack and where it is, like. It's just crazy that EA didn't do that. We've had icon packs almost every single Sunday for like as the last month, the last two months. But if you think back to like last year, Sundays also were days that they would drop. They would go hero or icon, and they used to fluctuate off and on with a lot more of that. It's just been so consistently icon SBCs recently. I, I didn't even like consider that for yesterday's content. But, of course, EA always keeping us on their toes. That is what they drop. Now, I would say there's still probably a chance that we could get that icon SBC or some sort of icon pack. Uh, this this week, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow, there's still an outside shot for that, so it wouldn't completely write it off. Um, but obviously, it didn't drop yesterday, so we are a little bit surprised by that. And what was also uh, reactionary to that news was fodder dropping. SBC fodder did drop yesterday on basically the, the middle to higher tier. 86s are now under 10,000 coins. They're 9.4k. 87s are 14. 88s are 22,000 coins, and even 89s dropped off a fair bit yesterday. You can see that a lot of those drops happened after the content drop when we didn't have another icon pack with higher rated squads inside of it, specifically the 89s. If I was to invest in fodder right now, I would look at the very top tier once again, man. I mean, these cards were all like 38, 39,000 coins on Saturday and they dropped off like 35,000 coins. You can probably get 89s on bid for like 34K. That's Probably a pretty safe investment throughout the rest of this week. Still, again, Eusebio, Mbappe, Zidane that is out. Another player of the month, Mbappe, could be released this week. The 93 rated, um, whatever that SBC is going to look like, however expensive it's going to be. Like, that's another SBC that is upcoming. So I like the 89s. After all, they dropped off a considerable amount yesterday. They could rise back up to 38, 39,000 coins during the week. Potentially. It depends on some other things too. But I think that's where I would look right now. And also, I think we're going to get more upgrade packs this week, guys. So I like the 82s. I like the 82s at like 600 coins, um, and I like the 83s on bid for like 800 coins or 750, whatever you can get 83s at, uh, as lowest as possible on bid. I think those will be great to lazy list once again this week because we'll probably get some more upgrade packs. But that's probably the only places to ride invest in fodder. I don't love the team of the weeks. Again, if we get an 83 times 10, that would make me like team of the weeks. That would be like the only SBC with an inform requirement and multiple times repeatable that would make me want to invest in informs. Informs are down. They're below 30,000 coins now because yesterday there was an inform requirement in the 86 plus the hero pick, but there's just not a lot of demand, as you can tell, by the upvote and the downvote on Footbin for that SBC. So that's kind of what I'm looking at with that uh, SBC. Again, a bit of a surprise yesterday. If you got something good from it, GG's, but I don't think I'm doing it, man. I'd rather do a player SBC right now. There's so many player SBCs that are out, and you get some 
pretty nice ones. So that's where I'm going to look instead of doing the 86 plus pick. We also had the showdown SBC yesterday. Best part about this is it's pretty cheap. Uh, Corbos versus Rosso for Madrid women's team versus uh, Paris FC. This game is on Wednesday, guys. The 20th is when this game is going to take place. I, um, the cards aren't amazing. I mean, let's be honest. Rosso's got whipped pass plus. Four-star weak foot can play right wing, right mid, and cam. The stats aren't that good. Corbos looks like a decent midfielder with ping pass plus. Um, Four-star weak foot. Th the best thing about it is they're cheap. They could potentially get upgrades. So if you find interest in those SBCs, at least they are cheap. That is nice. Um, and then we also had a challenge SBC yesterday as a part of all the challenge SBCs, of course, that we had to do and stack up. Uh, you get a mega pack from this, untradeable. But check your club because I believe it was Portuguese, like left wings and right wings. Because you need a Portuguese Portuguese player for this. You need some rares. You need 31 chemistry. So you need Portuguese players. Um, certain ones were selling for like two, 3,000 coins. So maybe after you get this SPC done, check and see if you have any tradable ones in your club. Because uh, those were going for a lot yesterday after that SPC was dropped. Now, let's go to objectives. Because we had some new objective content yesterday as well. We had a daily play boost. And this is great if you're somebody who's still trying to catch up on XP. I've got my season completed, hit level 26. But if you're not quite there yet, this is 500 XP every single day that you can get from playing two matches. That's awesome. So this is the last couple days of the season. Once again, guys, by the way, this season ends on Thursday. So if you're really struggling for XP, if you're a little behind, make sure you get involved here with this. Also, we had a cup that was dropped yesterday too. Some more XP and some more packs. And guess what, guys? They actually changed up the requirements for this. They're making it kind of interesting. It might be actually useful to put some evolution cards, maybe a little bit lower behind the power curve. Might be fun to build a cool team with some of your Evo cards because for the Team of the Group Stage Cup, it is max one loan and your entire starting 11 and subs have to be 86 and below or below 86 actually because you can have 186 and higher. So I like that. Some differentiation with the cup requirements from EA. We asked for that the last time they had a cup. And they came through. So that's at least nice. I know some people will complain because like, nah, Nate, I want to use my main team. I grind for my main team. I want to use that. I like that they're I like that they're uh, mixing up that sort of requirement stuff a little bit. I am a fan. And now also, uh, we have got ourselves a couple packs here really quick. They re-released a lot of the store packs yesterday. As I pick up a cost, it's nothing insane there. Um, but speaking of cards and packs, we're going to cover that in a second. Uh, that was really what caused a lot of the commotion yesterday on this game. They dropped a 450k pack that uh, contains um, two untradeable Team of the Group Stage players as a part of it. Uh, as we pick up a... Oh, I thought that was Wendy Renard. I get an 83 as my best player. Wow, that was a terrible... 80 times 10. That was from the um, the daily login. I'm just going to quick sell that card so that we can go into here. Look at this 450k pack. Uh, they dropped a 450k pack yesterday, which contains two untradeable, albeit untradeable versions of cards that are in packs right now. You wait for team of the group stages. So there's that. Um, a lot of these packs are going to come back today too. Like the deluxe 86 goes away. It's going to come back for sure. I don't know if they're going to do lightning rounds, uh, but the story yesterday was a bit quieter because a lot of those packs we had seen before, except for that 450K uh, guaranteed team of the group stage pack. Now, also yesterday, we had yet again another evolution. The evolutions part right now on this game, it is full in here. There are a lot of evos. And once again, EA did the same thing they did a couple days ago. They dropped the evolution in double. So you can do it twice. Budding Starlet. We looked at this leaked Evo, I think, on Thursday. It was exactly or almost exactly as leaked. Max 77 overall. So it's basically taking somebody who's a bit lower rated and you're making them into a beast with a pretty sizable shooting, passing, and dribbling upgrade. We're talking plus 10 shooting, uh, plus 11 passing, plus 8 dribbling, and some nice physical, and even a little bit of a pace boost as well with you get acrobatic and quick step uh, play styles. It just can't be a center forward player. Th this Evo actually is uh, coming in, and it's pretty well liked. If you take a look 
at the evolutions on Footbin, the budding starlet, which these are both the same. I don't know why it says one and two, but they're both the same. Um, they're like they're more positively upvoted than downvoted. It's not that hard to do. There are some player prices that have moved up a lot. Madueke is one with his budding starlet card. You can see him moving again from 90 pace to 93. Get that big shooting passing boost, dribbling up to 90. Uh, four star, four star for that card. Uh, a couple of other random cards that there's some there's some nuts actual uh, actually nuts chain evolutions you can make. Mateus Franca here is is one of those that is pretty crazy. Now I know a lot of these including or do include uh, players that can't be evolved to this nature anymore because you know an Evo has gone away. I think a tall actually looks pretty nuts after this budding Starlet Evo. Yeah, you could do detail oriented into the budding Starlet 2 and you get yourself in a tall with 91 pace, 88 passing, 91 dribble. Of course, he's four star, five star. You get some of those play styles on there. He's going to get a promo card at some point, but he hasn't yet. So this one kind of looks good. Like that's that's a nice looking at all. A bit more of an attacking upgrade for at all. Not as much in the defensive areas, but you know, that's a card that is, I think his silver card is almost extinct. Yeah, it's extinct at 10,000 coins right now because of that. And then the Burnley player, um, he was extinct earlier in the year. I, I forget his name. It starts with a Z. But his card is extinct on the market right now too because he also fits this budding um, stars Evo or budding Starlet Evo. And he looks insane. So once again, we've got silver cards, non-rare golds up big on the market because of a pretty solid Evo. So GG's EA. And again... I like it because they're releasing it in double, guys. I really do. I mean, what is EA's real reason for doing this? I think it's got to be a little bit like they're trying to get people to at least play more games and, and giving you the opportunity to do two evolutions, which is nice. We love the opportunity. But is this motivated by EA trying to get people to play a few more games for their metrics? I don't know. Who knows? But I'm a fan that they're here. They're out for 27 days. GG's once again for another set of Evos from EA. Now, let's talk about the part that's really not making people as happy as those evolutions are. And it actually, guys, it's only talked about in one place on this game. It's not talked about anywhere else in the menus. And I'm going to look for it again right now. Flipping through all these little infographics on the side. Uh, you go to like the news tab. You go through here. It says nothing on this game in the menus right now about other cards being added to packs apart from the team of the week and the UEFA team of the group stage. But EA did it once again yesterday, guys. They re-released old promo cards. This is the loading screen on this game right now. Now, of course, we know they dropped new Road to the Knockouts UWCL players. That's not a huge surprise. But what they also did was they re-released cards back into packs. And any time that EA does this, People lose coins because people who had Usman Dembele, Osaman, Luis Diaz, these cards are in people's teams because they're good cards. Also, EA, you tweeted a graphic with cards not upgraded. Osaman 90? Yeah, that was like so five that four days ago, man. Osaman is 92 now. Yeah, uh, Luis Diaz is 89 rated and he was almost 900,000 coins yesterday. He was 868k, which is kind of where his price normally is, and he gets re-released into packs all of a sudden. So if you had a tradable Luis Diaz yesterday, you are down 400,000 coins because he is now 400k. Or if you had a tradable Osaman, maybe you bought Osaman, who was up in value because people had done Di Lorenzo. A lot of people lost coins on this card because of the links to Di Lorenzo. You can see he went from like 250 all the way to 300, and then all of a sudden EA says he's back in packs. Have fun. And his price goes down from 300k down to 130,000 coins where he is now. Of course, the price drops uh, uh, happen on cards that get re-released into packs. They get supplied more. And when people see that they get supplied and that they're in packs, they're going to sell the card if they have it in the club, which, again, it, it makes a bigger price drop happen. But it's just it's frustrating. And this is one of the things that frustrates us all the time. And it's something that EA, they did last year around Christmas with Winter Wild Cards. They re-release cards in packs. And it's just annoying because they just don't give you a heads up, right? And they're never going to give us a heads up, right? Uh, and that's the disappointing part about it, especially the losing coins aspect of things. There's really no way that you can know that these cards were coming. There were, from what I saw, no leaks uh, about a re-release coming. This is not stuff that gets leaked. It's just kind of EA says, hey, we're going to do this. And then it, it just happens. Like, it's, it's one of those crazy phenomenons where... Um, 
there's really no heads up and just a lot of coins end up being lost because cards get re-released back into packs. But the problem I have with it fully is they're not even showing it on the menus of the game. They, we don't have a list. Remember last year, they're probably going to do this again. That's why I said it also in the video. They're probably going to do this again sometime this year, guys. They're going to re-release random promo cards back into packs. They won't give us a list of who is entirely in packs. Although on the loading screen, we imagine it's just these. But in the future, just know that there's probably going to be other cards that are in packs that they won't tell us about. And it's just frustrating that lack of communication there because um, you can go to the uh, you can go to the store and check the pack odds and you can see that yeah there are definitely road to the knockout cards that are back in packs once again, but again yeah it's, it's just frustrating man 125k pack you see road to the knockouts player UEL UCL so those cards are definitely back in packs but anytime you log on to the game and your card is down 30 40 percent. You're going to be upset, right? And I totally get it. Those cards are in packs until the end of the week with the team of the group stage. So they're probably going to continue to drop at least a little bit. Some of them will have some fluctuations uh, as they've dropped off so much. But yeah, just frustrating, bro. Um, and, and, and yeah, I think the positive part about it is, for those of you that didn't own those cards, which is where I'm at in this as well, is that, uh, hey, you've now got an opportunity to pack more special cards this week. And apart from the coin loss, it is a W. I'm not going to sit here and complain the entire time because... It is a W to have more special cards and packs. I mean, shoot, what if you hit a Road to the Knockouts Usman Dembele? Nobody's going to complain about that, right? Or even a Road to the Knockouts Osaman or Acuna or Hinkapi, right? Nobody is going to complain about that. So there's a positive side of things as well. Uh, but it's just it's frustrating from a losing coin standpoint if you own one of those tradable and they get re-released. Now, speaking of packs and those cards being in packs... With a promo team, with Road to the Knockouts, men's and women's players in packs, and of course the Team of the Week and the UEFA Champions League men's and women's heroes in packs right now, I think EA is going to drop a lot of upgrade packs this week, and I think that's one of the pieces of content that we can expect to see today. Of course, we've got the 82-plus player pick, but that is repeatable five times a day only. We don't have a unlimited repeatable player pick type of SBC like the 78 plus we don't have one of those do we get one of those today I think we do I also think as I'm looking at a club of mine right now that is very in need of weekend league rewards goodness gracious okay let's see do I have any Libertadores here can I put some of these in give me some other rares we might have oh I'm gonna be short all right I might have to turn in at like one or two 81s here I'm gonna have to turn in two 81s to get this done that is unfortunate i don't like turning in 81s because you know they're 81 rated but we'll do it for the lads so that we can hopefully get something good here almarone see ya mario rui see ya uh but yeah i think we're gonna get upgrade packs like last week with all this stuff in packs if ea didn't put out some like some decent upgrade packs that would be a bit anticlimactic so whether it's an 83 times 10 whether it's an 85 double or, you know, like a 78 plus player pick, unlimited repeatable as well. We've got the radioactive crafting upgrade still available. I think there's going to be a decent amount of upgrade packs, which is why it could be a decent week to buy those 82s and 83s. Like I mentioned, it's all going to depend on, of course, what they put out. But those cards could be one that lazy sell really good throughout the week. 82 plus player pick, we're taking an 84 Rafinha. That's pretty mid. That was not really worth it technically in terms of value, but we'll get our weekend league rewards and hopefully do a few more of those this week. But hopefully more upgrade packs at least give us an opportunity to try to pack some of these cards. The team of the group stage is like, once again, man, this team is a pretty sick team of card and cards and packs. A lot of people will want to open upgrade packs this week. I think EA is going to put them out, albeit they'll be untradeable, but I think there's some opportunities there. Other content that we could see today on a Monday. We've got a couple of leaked SBCs still that are out there for Griffo, I think was one of the names of a car that is still leaked, right? We could see a player SBC today. And guys, I mean, I still think there's an outside shot that we could actually have an icon upgrade SBC today or sometime during the week as well. Again, probably a slight chance, but I think there's opportunities for that too. And uh, we're really keeping an eye on that, uh, that EA tweet, right? That EA tweet about the content that's going to be coming today, I would 100% expect to see some interesting things coming this week in Ultimate Team as well. One of the things I want to shout is, remember the Anthony Gordon Punnett Picks SBC? It's about time that we had another one of these because EA said those will be once per month. This one will be from La Liga, however. So I don't know when we're going to get this announced. I didn't watch much La Liga over the weekend, so I don't know if it was talked about on the zone. Maybe you guys remember hearing something about that, but 
Uh, I think we're going to get one of those SBCs here pretty soon. And then, of course, again, as I already mentioned, the news about Player of the Month Mbappe, his SBC could be a big thing that we look forward to on that upcoming live tweet from EA. So we're watching out for that today. That'll happen before content. Now let's talk market stuff that'll happen before the content today as well. You see my coins are down. I already mentioned that, guys, we've invested. All right, we've invested a lot of coins into Team of the Group Stage cards. And actually, yesterday was a really good day to trade with some of these because they had some really good fluctuations. Guys, it's the rarity once again that gets me interested in these cards. I picked up a bunch of Barellas for right around 290,000 coins, 290, 293, 291. I picked up one Cancelo at 370, picked up a Gravenberge at 216. That's more of a quick flip just because he's really rare. But the reason I went out and picked up some Barellas and a Cancelo was, again, guys, these cards were really low yesterday. The content was just kind of quiet, I guess you could say. And I saw how rare these cards were. I've been speaking about it all weekend. These cards are just rare. They're big name players. People want to try them out and use them. Yesterday as well, uh, I, I could have picked some other players that were really good to trade with. Bukayo Saka went from like 610K. Look at that panic sell from 750 down to 600, back all the way to 700,000 coins. Right now he's 642. Um, you know, these cards, they have so much hype. I think they're going to go up today. I think they will after rewards. I know last week the Dynasties team didn't, but I feel like this is just different. Also, people see cards like this and they just assume that they're live, right? So like yesterday, <clears throat> these cards got bought up. It wasn't just Sokka who had a bounce like that. Uh, Jude Bellingham had a really good fluctuation. He went from 785 all the way back to 850. Uh, around the content time, I picked up all those Barellas, and he ended up going back to like 320 right here. And this is a card that with the Di Lorenzo SBC being out, I just think there's a lot of hype for him. He's got Tiki Taka Plus, um, and he's really rare. When I like look at his card in the market, I really like that. So I really like his card. I like a lot of this team, guys, for this week. Now, it is risky to be buying a promo team this early right? I know that. And I, I'm fully assuming a lot of risk. I'm not 100% invested in these cards, uh, but I'm pretty fully invested. Uh, but I'm fine with the risk. I really am because I just think that a lot of these guys have so much hype. This Cancelo is one of the best right backs in the game. Um, and, you know, he went up yesterday. He was 360 something. I paid 370. He was 360s, went all the way back to 390. These cards show very good bounce potential. And yes, I'm gambling right now by buying these cards early. But I think potentially with if content this week goes the way that it could go, could go, and these cards don't get supplied that much during the week as we probably wouldn't expect them to, we could see some of these cards actually rising during the week. Just because, again, I think there's a decent amount of gameplay demand. And uh, we'll see, right? It's a, it's a test of the market as well right now. We'll see how well the market's going to do. But I'm in for it, man. Um, I'm in for it. I'm going to go for it. And, I, again, I just love the rarity on these cards. I love how much I've been able to trade with them and watch their cards fluctuate all weekend already. They move a ton. And I just think it's going to bring some really good trading opportunities as my game crashes. It's good for one crash per video, basically. So, yeah, that's why I've invested a lot of my coins there. But the rest of the out-of-packs market continue to watch fluctuations on these cards. Like, the market seems way healthier this week and right now than it did last week. Now, I know player prices, like, are down. Zinchenko, we looked at him over the weekend. He's 143. He was 180 at one point. Dynasty's players, how are they doing? Reese James is down a little bit. Hernandez down a little bit. But Oberdorf is up. Sané is still up. Verts is up. Another, like, 10,000 coins. Uh, Taram... Timber is still rising him above 200,000 coins now. So these cards continue. It shows it shows that the market has some life, and I'm all for that. So that's why I'm super interested in those cards today. I think they'll be decent to trade with, to flip with. Whether it's a hold for the rest of the week or just today, I've got my fingers crossed for a market rise today. The only thing that would really kill that is probably some leaks and some supply via lightning rounds, which could then create some panic selling. But I'm going to risk it for at least the next day or two uh, because these cards just look really good to trade with for me. So that's why I invested yesterday. Again, hopefully today, um, I don't know. I mean, for my investment purposes, I hope today's kind of a quiet content day. But I'm, I'm down for some upgrade packs. Give me opportunities to try to pack some of these cards, especially with everything in packs right now today on this game, EA Sports. I'm super down for that. If you guys are, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And, of course, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys hopefully in the Twitch stream today. It's been Nathan for the count. See you guys there. Peace out.